Okay, so before I start, this is going to be a positive review. I love this bag. I, I love it. I love it. Love it. So this is a positive review. And I, I also feel like I should say I'm not being paid by Companion or I'm sponsored by them or anything like that. Obviously, I just thought it'd be cool to say that. It was a photographer friend who had this bag and I saw it at a wedding and he recommended it and I fell in love and I just went and bought one and this is going to be my thoughts. So here she is. So this is it, this is the Companion backpack bag, camera bag. They're a German based company and they've got a website and you just order the bags from there and they send them, they ship internationally. So I've not found anywhere else you can buy them other than directly from the website, but they ship internationally. This is the, they do a, a wide range of bags, but this is the backpack and it's called the, the backpack. Um, and this is the olive green version. They do a variety of different colors. But, you know, I like, I like the green. And I've had it for about two months now. I've been using it on all my weddings. So yeah, it's, it's all made, it's all genuine leather. You can tell it's really, really well made. It feels like quality. You can tell it's expensive. It, it is quite expensive, but I'll get onto that in a sec. German bull leather and original Scottish waxed canvas. So it's proper materials, it's proper leather. Front, this green bit. Um, is a waxed canvas. You can feel that it's waxy, it's oily, which is great because it's water resistant. So especially in the UK, um, if it's raining on a wedding, I, and I have got it wet and it's just dripping off because it's waxed. And then obviously these brown bits at the bottom and the back is real high quality leather. There's loads of padding in the straps, loads of padding in this back bit here. So when it's on your back, it feels, it is <laughs> really comfortable. It looks, just looks, it's not that big, but it looks massive here. So yeah, so it's it's a really solid, solid rucksack. Like zips are well made. There's a nice clip on the front here. There's a video on the website that says these clips are like army grade or military grade or something, but they feel good. Already after a couple of months, I'm really confident with just slinging it over my back, chucking it down on the floor. Uh, the padding on the back and on the inside feels really strong and sturdy. So you know you you can just tell that it's well made, and it you you. you Already, I'm super confident with it because you can smell it like you know it's proper stuff. Um, and for the price, I should hope so, but let's open it up. So the bag opens up from the back, it unzips from the back like so. It's obviously really good because when it's on your back, no one can get into it. And then inside, it's just I've got your standard kind of Velcro compartments, which I have modded out for what I need. But you also get a big stack of these leather straps as well, just to put over the top so that you can secure your stuff. And again, proper leather. So I've got two camera bodies with lenses on in there. Spare lenses, audio, plenty of room in there. I'm gonna do a separate video about what I keep in my bag and what's, and, and all this equipment I've got in here. So I'll link that below, check that out if you're interested. Essentially, there's loads, there's loads of space. This bit that goes against your back, you can open that up and slide a laptop. That'll fit a 15 inch. Again, it's all padded, it all feels comfortable. At first, I was a little bit skeptical about putting my laptop in there but after doing it a couple of times it already feels really sturdy and really secure the only thing i don't really get is the only feature that i'm not interested about with the whole bag is these little extra pockets that you get here the little sd card pockets i've never used them because i'd be frightened of it slipping out but they're cool but they're a bit unnecessary i'm using some of this space for the pads for spare pads so i could easily slot something else in there i could take some of these bits out Depending on the wedding, I could maybe fit a drone in there if I needed to. There's plenty of space in there for everything. So that's that bit. And you'll notice just in the top here, I've got a bit of clothing. So this is what I really love about this backpack. Obviously I've got easy access to all my cameras and my laptop, but my favorite thing is this roll top design. Again, it's, it's a, magnetic, a magnetic opening, really strong magnet well made again, um, feels really sturdy. And what it means is when you open that, you've got all this extra space that opens up in here and this just goes, this goes pretty deep. So in here I've got a spare pair of pants, a spare shirt, um, because I have a tendency to rip my pants or spill coffee down my shirt. So spare clothes for a wedding, but there's so much space in here. I could easily fill that to the top with two or three days clothes, spare shoes, which is ideal if I wanted to go to destination wedding. And then if, if that was full to the top, this strap here is adjustable and I could extend that to the full length and it would still close 
so I can make all use of all this extra space. And great for if I'm going on destination weddings or I'm traveling down south and I just want everything in one kit. There's front pockets as well. There's a side pocket there, so there's extra pocket space. There's straps on the bottom for a tripod. There's straps on the side for a tripod, which is really handy because my last bag only had straps on the bottom. But if you're putting a tripod across the bottom, you, every time you put it on the floor, your tripod's taken and a hammer in. I went through tripods really quickly, so to have it on the side is bonus. And obviously I just use these little Manfrotto travel tripods, so that's all my kit for, for my weddings. So if you are a minimalist videographer, a dis, you know, discreet approach, minimal kit kind of videographer, then this is the perfect bag. That's, that's the way I shoot weddings. I try and keep my kit as small as possible. And the companion bags hold all my kit. There's, there's room for more than I need. Uh, it's got a space for my tripod on the side. There's loads of space for clothing in the top bit if I wanted to go to destination weddings, you know, go away for a couple of days. And then I'm not having to carry a separate suitcase and camera bag. I'm pretty confident that this is the perfect wedding videography bag for me. I'll never need another one. Until we're all filming weddings on our phones, um, whilst we're still using mirrorless cameras and etc., this will be the ultimate wedding bag for me. I don't think I've, it ticks every box. So I can't see why I'd ever need another one. For me, it makes it worth the price because my next point and kind of the only negative is the price. It's, it's an expensive bag. This is a German company, they're around about 460 euros on the website, so then you're converting that to English or to dollars or whatever. It's not a cheap bag. My last bag, Langley bag, was about close to $300 and you know, for me that was a, I thought that was a dear bag, that was the dearest bag I'd ever had. So this is not, this is an investment, it's an expensive bag but it's, it's really well made, you can tell there's a lot of quality materials gone into it, there's a lot of thought gone into it. It's a proper investment and as I say, I think, I think this bag is going to last me years and with it being leather, it sh will hopefully age well and mature over time and I, I, think it's, I think they're built to last, you know. If it means I can carry everything in one bag and be confident that it's all kept safe and secure and I can travel with it and I can do my destinations and I can fit everything I'd ever need into, onto my bag, it's, it's worth it for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna link the website, the companion website down below, and the, the link to the page where you can get this bag. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm also gonna link the other video that I've made um, where I talk more about what's what's in my kit bag, what what equipment I keep in my companion bag. So check that out if you're interested. If you like the video, hit like and leave me a comment if you have any questions. This was my thoughts on the the companion backpack, and I'll see you in the next one.